We welcome you back to AUPanthers.tv. Jim Pittman with head Delphi basketball coach David Duke. David, you had a tough uh, task this, uh, this evening against LeMoyne, uh, number one team in the Northeast 10. Game a great battle for the first half. Second half, they kind of took over. Offensive rebounds and turnovers were, were the story of the second half. <clears throat> so we had, they had three offensive rebounds in the first half. They had eight in the second half. We have 21 turnovers, which led to 22 more field goal attempts. So when you're taking 22 more shots than your opponents, uh, that's, gonna be, that's going to be points. You know, they're really a, a strange team because they're statistically they don't overwhelm you, but they got so many good players. They really do a great job of sharing the basketball. Uh, they do, that's a terrific team. They, they really move the ball around well and very balanced, 24, 17, 13, 13, 7. Uh, ex excellent team. They don't beat themselves. No. You know, those 10 turnovers is very solid, and that was one of the keys to the game for us, be solid on both ends of the floor. On the offensive end, that really means not turning the ball over because we, we score – uh, our points per possession is, is very high. We score at a very, very good rate when we get shots. And I speak with the guys all the time. When we have north of really 13, maybe 14 turnovers, our win-loss record is significantly different. Mm -hmm. and, and against anybody, but a team as good as LeMoyne, the number one team in the region, you can't have 21 turnovers and give up 11 offensive rebounds. As I said, eight of which were in the second half. Yeah, it also looked like you were really shooting quickly in the second half. You weren't as patient you were earlier, and it, you could see the frustration on the team. Yeah, so we also dug ourselves a bit of a hole. So we, once we got down a certain amount of points, we were trying to get some quick shots, right. too, off of the ball screens, hit our lifters, and, you know, quick into Manny, kick it back out. Uh, they did a good job defending. Uh, we, we weren't knocking down shots. We only shot about 33% from three tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought we missed we missed some good ones. We had some good ones. We missed a couple of free throws early yeah. in the game. And, and I thought that we hit a couple of chances to, to capitalize to go up a little bit, and we didn't jump on them. And against a good team, you, 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 attention to detail. That was another key to the game. When you're, when you're playing anybody, it, it, collegiately, everybody's a good basketball player. But when you start to play the better teams in your league, your attention to detail has to be excellent to be able to win ball games. Yeah, yeah, you got to give them a lot of credit, especially being on a road. It was a big crowd here tonight on senior night, loud crowd, and you know, really they were really behind you, especially in that first half. And they, they were just very steady, and they just found a way to get it done. They went on that run, you know, midway through the first, second half, and that basically was the ball game. Absolutely. Yeah, you know, we, we were right there with them in the first half, mm -hmm. and it was a five-point game coming out of the half. But uh, Einsdorf, number, number five, had, had six offensive yeah, rebounds. he's really good. One of those offensive rebounds was in the first half. And it was in the first six minutes of the second half, he just imposed his will and his strength and, and grabbed five offensive rebounds. And that was a big part of the run that they went on. Yes. yes. He's a very athletic big man. He can yeah. step out, shoot mm -hmm. the ball from California, transfer from Gannon University. You know, he really had a great game for them, too, is Russell Sangster. 24 points, tied his career high. Yeah, a very good ball player. You know, he, he did a great job getting to the rim. He didn't, not, he didn't he scored 25. He didn't even make a three. He was right. doing a good job getting to the basket and finishing plays. Right. Well, next on the agenda is a trip up to Springfield, Massachusetts, where you play the American International. Yeah, you know, we just get ready. You know, we'll, we'll give the guys a, a day or two off to, to rest their legs. And, you know, with a short bench, that's important. Yes. Then we start preparing for AIC and we start preparing for the conference tournament. There's still a lot of basketball to play. Yes. Dave, thank you for coming up. You've been watching AUPanthers.tv.